today is an exciting day because we have not used our big bow in about three weeks. We have FOMO so bad. This is the time of year to get out there if you're going to go deep sea fishing. Today we've got the right conditions for it. It was a little bumpier earlier this week. I think we're going to try some trolling. We already set up for that. See what we can catch on the troll. If that doesn't work, maybe we'll run out for some mahi-mahi. It's the time of year to catch them. They're migrating. And then even bottom fishing. We have a lot of options. Yes, I, I literally haven't been on the water in like two weeks. Got a lot of family visiting, so we're pretty excited. We're gonna take you guys along with us and... Uh... Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I had food poisoning and then we had a bunch of family <laughs> yeah. uh, in town for a couple weeks. All yeah, right. and, so we're, and we're heading out our, our home inlet. Boy, yeah, everyone inlet today. is meeting us out. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. Like 10 boats have passed us just now. <laughs> While we're yep yapping, let's go, let's go. This is the one that's fish on. All right, what's going right. on? Is he on there? Yeah. All right, planter rod just started going off. You're think, underneath, yeah. I think there's side. a small one. You're underneath over here. Um, Come over the top. Like this? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, now you're clear. All right, I think I got a small fish. Good job. We got the no, lines no, out. Come on, Sizzle. You're underneath. <laughs> you got to keep it that way. I'm underneath? Wrap the rod. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah. Oh, I see him. Oh, oh it just, just came off. off. I don't know, could have actually been seaweed. It was definitely uh, very tiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good sign. It's better than nothing. Yeah, but anyway, we got the lines out, trolling for an hour or two. I got this uh, island rod of flyer out here, our usual spread. We catch a fish, I'll let you know. But um, no complaints. It's a beautiful morning, beautiful Friday. Flat calm. It's no longer season in Florida. There's no one out here. It's crazy. It's actually not that windy. Fish on. All right. All right, that's a good depth right now. All right, here we go. Slow down. Okay, planter rod just went off. That is a great thing. And we were. Keep it going, keep it going. Sorry. Speed it up more, or are we good? These are good. Okay. Perfect. Boat straight. We keep the boat in gear to keep tension on that rod tip. You want to make sure we keep that hook tight. The second we have any slack, fish can pull right off. Oh, he's right there. Nice fish, nice fish. All right, who's going to do it, me or you? Me? Okay. All right, here we go. Let me reel. I'm bananaing. Let me reel. so excited. <laughs> uh, so now what you normally do, you circle right back around where we got that bite. I marked it on the machine on our low ramp step finder. So we're gonna go back around and usually they hang out in schools and packs. Let's show you the camera real quick. Boat's okay, leave it 300 feet of water. Beautiful fish. That's a really nice fish for around here. No complaints, lit up, gorgeous who right there. Let me show you the good side. There we go. Nice, nice fish guys. Let's see, we can put another one in the boat real quick. <laughs> right, we put that on our planer with our pink and white sea witch. Dude, I'm pulling the same spread I pull all the time. I'll link a video down below which talks about our planer system with the bridle system. And uh, we're running 40 pound, 100 foot liter floor cover right to the hook. So you gotta tackle down on Southeast Florida, get these bites to catch these wahoo, and you can see it works. Yep. We don't lose that many lures. And we've already I saw a couple fans catching fish this morning too. Yeah, reaching out. So, uh, good day. Awesome day so far? Yeah. We'll get to see which is from Cody at Salty Dogs. And we got those hooks with an RJ Boyle split the hooks. So, a little shout out to them. They've been working real well. Just, uh, just enough so there's enough cover. Like, don't keep doing the same spot over and over. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Welcome cool. back to the house, guys. Cool. Thank you. Give it back. Give it back. 
All right, this is like a special towelette that I just started using. I actually used it in the Florida Keys episode because I was getting attacked by noceums. It actually really works. You just cover yourself in insect repellent. And I have to do that because we're in Florida and it's summertime and the mosquitoes <laughs> absolutely love me. I'm doing the backs of my legs, man. I gotta do everything before Behind we film. Scenes, about to sizzle offshore. Yeah, I'm like literally covering myself in bug repellent. I have to. This is the sexy part of the show. The sexy part, that's right. Man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, good. But now they're not gonna touch me. It's the greatest thing ever. I might not touch you either. I'm like the biggest, I love to touch fish and I'll touch guts and I don't care what it is, but when it comes to bugs, uh-uh, can't handle them. Okay, we eating good tonight. Fresh wahoo that we eat raw and we're doing something special that we haven't done on the channel in quite a while. Yeah, so yeah. cooking with pudding is gonna show you in the house, but really there's no cooking involved with this fish today. We're literally gonna eat them straight raw. Don't cook wahoo. And just really quick before I mention, I'm wearing the matching pendant today, beautiful wahoo. I don't have a lot of these available on my website, so head over there if you're interested. And I sell them with larger chains. So this is gonna be like a larger pendant, more so for male, but also females too, as you can see I'm wearing the wahoo. You also have a selection of other pendants. Yes, correct? sorry, yes. Dozens and dozens of nautical pendants to choose from. All kinds of fish, even freshwater fish like bass. Ooh, nice. um, fish hook and anchor bracelets, of course. Forget all these right, hair ties. Good. And we even have sterling silver fish hook too. But awesome. all the pendants are sterling silver. Okay, here we go. Using my eight inch dark sizzle curved blade, curved fillet knife today. Nice. You see that? That's a parasite right there. Look at that. Ew! They attach right behind the peck fins. Oh. A lot of fish have parasites, guys. It's a common thing. Let me just get that thing Don't out of the way. Most fish have parasites? That thing looks weird. All fish have some sort of parasite right. that lives with them. Some have more than others is the only thing. Let's get that over there. Yeah, I just saw that before, right before I stuck the knife in. Okay. This fish is going to be so good. It's been a minute since we've had wahoo. I think the last time we caught wahoo is when we caught uh, three fish in one day, which was yeah, epic. Was awesome. But it's been a great year for wahoo in our home waters. No complaints. Bunch of people caught fish, like we said. And probably a lot more were caught today as well. But we're not even around the full moon right now. Which is crazy. Working all the way down. Right down here, it's very thick. It's just like all muscle. So probably just gonna cut right here and leave that attached. All right. Now to show you the beautiful loin of the Wahoo. I mean, I really love the flex of this blade. Just perfect for getting right up on those bones. And this is just pretty easy to fillet. They, you know, they're a pelagic fish, so they don't have crazy scales. Their scales are actually quite small. This looks amazing. Wow. Look at that nice. meat. Look at that meat. That's a fillet. Woo! And right here, you can see how we glided right up over the bones and then went back down. Just a little bit here, but the cool thing with the Wahoo, which is not even literally, like that's not even a lot to waste, but a cool thing with that, right in your mouth. <laughs> it's probably the best part too. Right along the spine right here. Mm, that is good. Oh my God, that's so good. No, we don't freeze our fish. You know, a lot of you guys say that up with fret, with frozen, yeah, with fish you to eat fish? raw. Um, these, this fish is so fresh. This fish is taken care of, respected, He's been iced down in the cooler. I don't need to freeze it. That's more so like at restaurants, they have to follow rules and regulations. I think technically you do have to freeze it to get any bacteria out of it by law, but. At a restaurant? Yeah, yes. But you're taking right. a certain risk by doing this. Now, oh, of well, I think all of us fishermen do it. I don't think oh, yeah, it's no, like. No. I'm not saying we don't, but I'm just saying. Yeah. That there is a risk. Yeah. A little bit of that meat, head meat separated right there. That's okay. Beautiful piece of meat though, look at that. Oof. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the skin off. Just removing this belly line in real quick. Zebra fish. They definitely leave, have their color more too when they're on small, when they're smaller. The bigger they get, like the less stripes they retain when they, after they pass away. Okay, pass away. Okay, here we go. Gonna fillet it like this. Work with this piece first. Actually, let me show you this piece. This, when you go to have raw fish, the best piece of the fish is the top loin right here. The upper loin, this is gonna be the best part. So right here, that is gonna be the best part in general of any tuna fish or any species of raw fish that you're gonna eat like the Wahoo. So let's go ahead and show you right now how we're gonna do this. 
Now, you can see there is a bloodline, even though I bled the fish, which all fish have bloodlines. So what we're gonna do, instead of slabbing it across and taking the skin off, I'm gonna go down the middle, and then I'll show you guys the best part and how to separate it so you can eat the best part for sushi. All right, now we went down and just turn the knife sideways. We're slabbing it off. Beautiful, all right. So there's our piece. I'll just trim up that little bit of bloodline, but you get the gist of it. You don't want to eat that dark meat. And last but not least, right here, you see this other little tiny bloodline, which is not even a bloodline, it's just, more like a fiber. It's, yeah, it's more like a fiber where the uh, upper part of the fish is. We're gonna actually take that off because that piece is a little tougher and it's not the best part of the fish. Like the most lean part is going to be, I'll show you here in just a second, but this upper fiber we'll use definitely and we'll probably sear it. All right, that piece of that loin is all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm gonna take that in the house for the cooking. We'll put in portion of this video and I'm gonna finish up the rest of this fish. I mean, you guys in the house with the cooking we put in. I just said that. I'm ready to eat. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome back to your favorite section of the show, cooking with pudding. This is the Poke Bowl edition. Haven't done this in so long and kind of got tired of just having plain sushi, although we love that. So we don't really cook Wahoo around here, okay? We love to eat it uh, raw as much as possible. Uh, but if you want to cook it, here's, here's kind of the, the way we eat Wahoo. First day, come back off the boat, we're gonna do regular sushi or a poke bowl uncooked fish, okay? Second day, maybe you're gonna sear it or, or maybe you're going to, uh, what's the thing, Sizzle, where you put the juices in there and it cooks itself? Oh. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Yeah, you can put the wording there. <laughs> I'll put the wording in there. You know, when you do a citrus cooked fish. Yeah. I, I can't think of it right now at all. No. But anyway, so that you can do the second day. And then like the third day, then you can cook it if you want. You know, the fish gets a little bit older. But, uh, and Wahoo is a delicious white fish I just saw outside, and you don't want to overcook it, as, as I say that about all fish, but especially Wahoo, because it's a firmer fish, okay? So like your tuna, your cobia, the firmer fishes, you definitely want to undercook those, okay, as much as possible. I mean, you could smoke it and make smoked Wahoo dip a week later if you want. Um, that's up to you if you have a ton of Wahoo. But let me show you guys what I did. I've been inside here cutting all kinds of stuff. I got the B-roll sizzles, don't worry. But I got red peppers, I got avocado, I got mangoes off our mango tree. Dude, I had the best mangoes in the whole wide world and it's mango season and we have tons of mangoes. I got edamame, I got the sprouts, I got the green onions. I, I decided to do something different today, something new, apples. And I cut them up, I thought that might be good because they're nice and sweet, and I cut them up very small. So it's almost like apple little pieces, not chunks. Uh, cucumber, I got my uh, hot peppers for me. And I got a variety of sauces. We got ponzu, shiraka, spicy shiraka, soy sauce. Sriracha. Sriracha. Anyway, then we got some sprinkles, pine nuts. Darcy likes roasted sesame seeds. We got tricolor sesame seeds. And for the base, the rice, you can either use, you can use whatever the heck you want. I don't care. But we're gonna use uh, sticky uh, sushi rice because tomorrow or later we're gonna make them also make some sushi. It's also delicious with this meal. We just mixed that. We just mixed that up. Or if you want to use brown rice, that's also a great choice on this. So sizzle, maybe uh, I'll put some rice in here for you and then you can make your bowl. How much rice you want? We got to fatten her up, guys. All right, let's see how you do it, Darcy. So see, I, we'll let Darcy do it, because if I do it, I'm just going to throw a bunch of crap in there. It's not going to be very pretty. You always, you always talk about pleating your fish. You always like, pleat, pleat, pleat. Yeah, I know. Sorry, my hair's up, I know. Brian hates I'm my, the only one who doesn't like Brian that. Brian absolutely dislikes my hair. So he's gonna call me Marge right now. Marge, look at a big bun like Marge. So I beat him to it. Actually, that's not enough rice. Nice, there you go. You directly told me how much rice to put in there. I know, but I couldn't see while I was filming. All right, so let's do the first thing first. Oh, when I cut the fish up, well, I'm sorry. I cut the fish up in little pieces using the uh, Smith's Home Set. They have all kinds of products over there, check it out. And I yeah. rinsed or uh, marinated some in ponzu and just some without ponzu. Did you try this? I didn't try it, I'm sure it's delicious. She's gonna make it nice and neat. There you go, I got both of them, and now you just pile your stuff around it. Yeah. Pretty simple. Where are you going with the apples? I don't know. I think gonna, they're going to be good. We're just going to do everything. Oh, I just put red against red. Uh-oh, you're busting up my presentation. That was silly. Avocado. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, really. I mean, honestly. Honestly. If I'm being honest. What kind of sauce you can put on there? Oh. Ooh, the pine nuts. Those are good. 
These are really good. I need to eat these more often. I really like sesame oil. All right. No Soraka for you. It's too heavy. Too, no. It's too hot. It's too hot. That's for me. That's for me. Woohoo! All right, I'll make my bowl and we'll taste it up. Looks good, Sizzle. All right, we're back. I made my bowl. Get the picture, Sizzle. I am. You like make sure you have your beer. I'm like I need to go get another one. Cause you're an alcoholic. <laughs> Brian's telling me about his beer. He doesn't. He didn't even drink it yet. I'm not from Florida. Drink it. <laughs> He's a drinker. He's a beer champion, not me. Beer chairman. I was beer chairman at fraternity. If you were from Zeta Beta Tau in 1990, then you know how awesome I am. Anyway. And champion. I'm not champion. Mm -hmm. They don't do champions. You were like the fastest drinker. I was fast a lot of things, but not drinking. <laughs> not running. Really yummy. Super healthy. Mm. All right. That's the most delicious thing I've had in a long time. I have to put it down. That's what you should have every day. I know. I have to put it down because I'm ready to eat and I gotta get off this video. <laughs> All right, delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I put a little bit too much scaraca sauce on there. Yep, and the great thing about it is that you literally just do and buy whatever the Anything heck you want. you want for your own bowl. You like, everything's a poke bowl. These Pretty are just cool. ideas. Pretty cool, exactly. And I well, forgot we bought the... what we wanted, so. Exactly. There you go. But thank you guys for joining us on today's adventure. And until our next one, follow your dream. And, and keep, keep on, on catching. Down it. Mm. Down it. Let's eat. You should down the beer. <laughs>